Hey there guys, what's up? It's your boy George, back with another YouTube video for you guys on the channel. In today's video, we're checking out the new Lord of Darkness quest that's just dropped in Dodo Supercard. So with that being said, let's get right into the video. Right then guys, welcome back to the video. As you guys can see, there is a new quest in WW Supercard. Again, Lord of Darkness is the name. It's a seven day quest. As you guys know with me in quest videos, I'll run you guys through it from top to, or from bottom to top. And then obviously so you guys know what you need to do. So with that being said, let's get into it. Reset the draft board 25 times. That's so easy to do. Just send picks off the draft board whether that's for super coins or you guys just playing the games get 25 resets and then you guys get an undertaker crucible one pretty decent that's the card from the draft board a hundred times so that basically means every card every individual card you dust it will be counted into this to the point of a hundred this is repeatable i don't know how many times repeatable because it doesn't say but it's repeatable and you guys get five tombstone tokens that is fucking awesome mainly because the game mode is elite i'm doing quite well in it and these tombstone tokens, I've tried to send some super coins off the, off the board for them. They're not that easy to get. Use the super moves 10 times to get a bonus chance pack. At any of the new Undertaker themed cards, as well as a pack containing cards from Tundra all the way up to SummerSlam 2040. I mean, the one that I want, you guys know that. It's going to be Little Miss Bliss or Liv Morgan. So at the end of the day, I'm going to be doing this hundo. When I'm actually an Undertaker card, again, once you got the first one done, you can then use this in uh, Royal Rumble mode in PvP. As long as you win the, the actual overall bout, each individual game you guys will play with the Undertaker uh, with the Undertaker in that bout will count as an uh, will count as a match. So obviously this is so easy to do. And then obviously you guys get a Undertaker, what whatever the hell that is, and 10 tombstone tokens, which is crazy. Obviously, if you guys have got Undertaker in your collection already, you guys can use that. You don't have to use the one from the quest, but Obviously, if you guys are doing it like in, in order, then that's one thing you guys can do. Play a game in Zombies. Again, that is so easy to do. I've played a fair few games in it already. I'm definitely going to get that done. Again, 50 games gives you an un a, a zombie. I want to say, is that a profile picture? Like a champ thing? I don't know. Um, a bonus chance of any of the Undertaker themed cards. And then two cards from Tundra all the way up to Inferno tier, which is really, really cool. And then when you guys complete the whole quest, you guys get a Zelina Vega. See, I'm not happy about this. You guys know me. I'm not the biggest fan of Zelina Vega, nor do I really want her in my collection. But I mean, at the end of the day, if it's the be all and end all price of the quest, I'll take it. So yeah, man. With that being said, let me know in the comment section down below how you guys feel about this quest. If you guys think it's a dub or an L, if you guys are going to do it or not do it, just leave it all in the comments. You guys know I go through the comments and I reply to as many as I can. But with that being said, that is going to do it for the video. If you guys have liked this video, please make sure to hit the like button, subscribe if you haven't already. Let me know in the comment section down below how you guys will be getting on with the quest. And with that being said, we're trying to hit 3,200 subscribers on this channel by the end of the year. If we get it done, we greatly appreciate it. Till then, peace.